Welcome back to the vlog and this beautiful sunset behind me. Today is D-Day, competition day, and we are at the Riding Club Combined Training Qualifier at the Grange in Wittering, Peterborough. It's quite a mouthful, wasn't it? I'm doing the prelim 12, 75 centimetre class, and Hannah is doing her first novice on Jim Jam and an 85 centimetre round. So, yeah, we're excited to see how we go. I did this last year, and I'll be honest, it was a bit of a hot mess. Jim wasn't focused at all um, and I just wasn't riding. In fact, I was running like a spud. So I'll be interested to see how today goes. I feel like we've really come on in our partnership, particularly in the last, I don't know, three to four months. So it'll be interesting to see how we fare. But it is 6am. Jim has been out in the field all of last night. Hannah and I bathed him. I say Hannah and I. I basically corralled Terry and tried to keep him occupied while Hannah bathed him. Um... But yeah, he was bathed yesterday and we made the executive decision to leave him out overnight and not keep him in the stable just because he's happier. But it does mean an extra bit of cleaning and an earlier start, which is fine. I've got the hot shower cranked up, ready for his spa. Um, yeah, and then we'll get him platted up. And anyone that watched my stories over the last couple of days will know my pain with the platting because Jim has got this massive Irish bog mane and most horses take between what eight to ten maybe 12 plats jim takes 20 plats so um i've tried everything i've tried pulling i've tried thinning whatever you name it i've tried it and it's just crazy so yeah wish me luck on that front so as soon as he's bath platted we're going to chuck him up on the lorry and then go and i'll take you around the course um i'll show you a bit about the venue and hopefully we'll have a good day but we're there to have fun at the end of it. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping we're going to see some progression. I'm hoping. But first, let's hope that when Jim walks around the corner, he's absolutely not caked head to toe. He did wear his Batman hood on last night. And that was a compromise. He said, mate, if you want to go out, you've got to wear this hood. He weren't particularly happy about it, but he does look a bit like a dick in the field. But, you know, needs must. Uh-oh, here he comes. Hey, we got some work to do. Back it out. So yeah, better get cracking guys. Doesn't he look a lot fresher? Time to plait the bog pain, bog pony, oh God, I can't speak. Bog pony mane now, wish us luck. Hannah is doing I've been the, the four lock plait. I've done the other plaits, which aren't looking that bad, but Hannah is very good at French braiding. Who knew? I knew. Because you love, you love to do a good old running plait, don't you? <laughs> Anyone that can do a decent running plait can definitely do a nice French plait. Plats are in and we're ready to rumble. Let's go. We've arrived at the venue and we're going off to do the most important job of the day. Hat tagging. <laughs> hat tagging, yeah. So we've got to go and get our hats tagged because um, they haven't been tagged with the... Is it pink? It's pink, isn't it? So, yeah. We're going to go and get that done, get our passport checked and uh, go and have a look at the course. This is the course. It's one. Number two. What do you reckon number three? The caterpillar. Yeah, really nice course. Nothing overly spooky about it. Yes, lean back. You're lean pitched. back. Okay. Shoulders back more. Sit up. Stick them out. <laughs> yeah, that's what you've got to think. <laughs> that's better.
never switch sides Like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad Let her ties in the hearse I've been on the vibe, kinda hard to describe I'm in between, I'm good and it's fine But I'm tired of the grind Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle of the time of my life I'm never so packed for the stack Never lied on the rap Got a bag from the way that I write it Queen Lincoln Tyson Do that I survived, doing 80 to the house Then I hit it to the sky, change haters on a tirade Yeah, that's better. Each fence. Just come straight back round. Don't run. That's it. Guys, I wanted to do a voiceover on this because honestly, he gave me the most incredible feel jumping this round, but I made two massive mistakes and you're going to see them here. So we've entered the ring and I feel like we've got a good canter, got some impulsion going. And I'm like, Jess, yeah. let the hand break off. So here yeah. I am doing that. And I feel like those two fences are smooth. Now, this is the spooky fence, the caterpillar fence, the only spooky fence on the course. And of course he looks at it. And where am I? Absolutely nowhere. So I thought, oh, God, Jess, get your act together. So we're going to represent. And here I just knew that I had him this time and I was being supportive and encouraging and... Oh, nice little pop. And then over to fence four. Now, the issue I had here was that threw me. So then I get confused and I don't know where fence five is and I panic and I basically go on the inside of that fence when I should have gone on the outside. I realised my error and then I crossed my tracks. So, I mean, come on, that's proper rookie. Anyway, I thought, don't... Don't drop a bollock anymore. Come on, Jess. So here I was like, right, we've got this. So over the black, coming over here. Got a little bit tight into that one, but it's okay. I thought I'd better rebalance him up here. And he jumps this sweetly. And then Jim's like, hold my beer, mum. I've got this. He sees the double. Oh, ping, yes. ping. And then this one, he's like, whoa. Honestly, the best feel and i thought do not run into this fence and he pops it yes. sweetly Woohoo! that is a good round if mummy hadn't messed up but i'm happy <laughs> now you're showing off. Oh.
nice. spotted the little Shetland, which is, let me show you the little Shetland, it's very cute. Can you see? There. <laughs> Jimmy? <laughs> He's like, oh. her 85 round and how are you feeling buzzing she got so her dress size score is 35.3 oh my god oh i thought a plaque come out 35.3 and she just rode the most epic clear round at 85 centimeters for gin jam honestly this horse and the rider of course are <laughs> bloody epic so yeah we're gonna sort jim out oh your shoes definitely need doing not being done tomorrow being done tomorrow um, Sunday. And then we're going to go and visit Tell's Diner to go and get some uh, snacks, some chips maybe, some chips. But yeah, what a lad. Home from a very successful day. Han got a third place and the team that Han was in meant that they got a second place. Whoop whoop. So um, we're just going to sort Jim Jam out. Looking fine. Going to look really muddy in the field yeah he's gonna go out see city and enjoy i just want to say so thanks for watching the vlog i hope you've enjoyed it jim just wants to go out of the field now and yeah next vlog will be not next week will be the week after where we're going eventing we're going blackwater so yeah i'm excited to take you along but don't forget to um comment subscribe and all that jazz yeah catch you later guys bye